In this video, I'll share with you a very powerful technique to get more sales by spending less money. And yes, I know it sounds crazy, but it's being done using day parting. And if you stick until the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a bonus showing you the results before and after enabling day parting on my own campaigns on my own account. Hey, my name is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com and I help Amazon FBA sellers get more sales and stay on top of the game. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you get more videos like this one and everything, including all links we are going to mention in this video will be in the description box below. Okay, so after making this video about Scale Insight, the PPC automation tool that I'm using, a lot of people were wondering uh, or asking for more info about the day parting. So if you didn't watch this video, go and uh, watch that video. We'll put the link in the description. Um, and uh, I, I, I wanted to take this opportunity to make a video just about day parting and how powerful it is to help pushing the right signals to the Amazon algorithm um, and give you high rankings, more organic sales uh, without spending more money. Um, the theory behind this is that during night when your conversions are not uh, as high as during the day and it could be the opposite. Maybe your product actually performing better in uh, night hours and comparing to the day and maybe in your situation, it's better to keep the ads running all night and stopping them during the day. Um, I'll show you uh, right away how you can first analyze what is the best time or what is the best hours for you to run your ads and when is the best hour for you to post the ads so you send Amazon the right signals. And what do I mean by that again? So let's assume that during the day between 9 in the morning to 6 in the evening, you get 40% conversion rate and uh, above that or uh, in the rest of the hours, you get 20% conversion rate. So imagine and we all know that the Amazon PPC data helps uh, Amazon uh, the, uh, uh, with the ranking uh, factors. So for example, if they see for a specific keyword that people search and click on your ad that the conversion rate is very high, they will promote you organically and get you higher rankings knowing that because of the data that they have that this keyword most likely would convert higher than other rank uh, listings in the marketplace. So by really giving Amazon all this refined uh, uh, conversion data, you give them good signals that your product is actually converting higher than what it's supposed to be. Now, again, we have the organic sales as well. This is a big factor. We don't know exactly what is the big effect of it. And that's why I was experimenting and I'll show you at the end the results before or when I just started the experiment and after the lift in uh, sales that I got. And the beauty of this is that I actually spent less because the ads wasn't running during the night. Uh, so, um, you know, it didn't really eat all the budget that I was uh, uh, giving it like before. Uh, so without further ado, let me first start with how you can actually um, see the data using Scale Insight. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely uh, recommend that you check them out. You get a free trial with no credit card required. So it's a really good uh, uh, Amazon PPC tool. So <clears throat> let's go here to... Um, Ads Insight. So after you sign up and you connect everything, you should have the Ads Insight. And you should go to Performance. And for Performance, um, actually it shouldn't be, it should be here, I'm sorry, under Sales. So under Sales, you should go to Day Parting Trend. And then you can see, okay, what are the best hours? So for me, I see that, you know, it's uh, pretty much from... Uh, from 6 a.m. until 8 p.m., I get the best conversion rate. Even, I mean, I can even go here, like from 9. From 9, actually, it's really the best. So from 9 to 9, it's a pretty good conversion rate, right? Um, so you can define it here. And again, 
maybe for your product it would be different hours so you want to really analyze it and find the best hours during the day that you can put the day parting and then you can add your own automation so I'll show you my automation so if I go to automations here and day parting and I go to the actual rule I created uh, for my rules uh, for, I mean for my account a rule that says that the optimum hours are from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. I in my case as you saw before, let's go back to the ads insights. Sorry, to the sales and day parting trend. I still had good conversion. Like, did you see a big jump from 12.5 to 20%? So I had a good lift in conversions. And, you know, after 9 p.m., it was dropping back. So I didn't really want to lose on good uh, hours that we get sales and good conversions. So. <clears throat> this is this is uh, uh, the hours for me as you can see that's the rules that I defined you can edit this you can change it let's say for your hours it's from five you just select those for every day or the days that work well for you and you can do day parting also for the days of the week so for example if we go here and we see that you know what um, for let's go here Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. yeah okay so if we go here to the day of the week we see that Sunday uh, and, and pretty much uh, Sunday it's you know a very good day um, and then Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday kind of lower in sales um, so you can also see here the day because it's uh, kind of the same pretty much. But I guess there is less volume if the ACOS is the same. So you can analyze this like day of the week uh, uh, sales too. And you can like disable, for example, uh, on Friday, you don't want to show your ads. So you unselect everything, you know, um, or you can do it based on day. So um, the hour week, uh, let's see, how is this sales? It doesn't give me the day of the week so let's try to see i wish i had the data for like all fridays hourly uh you know numbers so yeah that's for the product hours of okay hour of week sales so that's what i wanted to see actually so we see here that for friday it's actually yeah the same kind of thing you know actually friday and saturday it's even worse so maybe there it's better to do it from 7 a.m. And that's something I'm going to tweak right away. I see it like uh, especially it's Saturday. Saturday I'm going to start from 7 a.m. So, you know, that's something for me that I just realized now. So after enabling and configuring the rule for my day parting, then you want to choose the campaigns that you want to apply the rule. You do this and set, and that's for sponsored products. You do this for sponsored brands and sponsored display, and every kind of campaigns that, you know, kind of running with that. And uh, that uh, that's it for very, very simple, like how you implement this. Yes, of course, you can do it manually, but, you know, for this kind of task, going to each campaign and pausing the ad group, it will be like a nightmare. So you need to have a tool. I know that there are other tools that are doing it, not a lot, uh, this one is very simple and powerful tool. In, in general, I love this software. It saved me a ton of time. Watch that video that I made. It really changed my business. And let's go to sales trend. So if you see here, I had an experiment on October 20th for this product. I really wrote that for day parting enabled from uh, 6 a.m. or 9. Uh, yeah, it is a mistake. From 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. PST. And let me show you the results. Sorry, it's this campaign. From the 21st and let me show you the results that I got for that specific one and I you know must be transparent here not all experience products worked well with this so make sure that you taste it you test it based on every product because the results may be right uh, let's go here to the trends and this is the number of units sold okay for that product so October 21st as you can see we had 21 sales and then as you can see this is the trend. It was giving us a couple of days to the algo to optimize, but then see the jumps. 36, I would never had 36, like 36, 34, 33. Yes, we had some lower days too, but in general, you see the trend. It's going up, 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 up. 
And the beauty is that we uh, we didn't spend more money, you know, we spent actually less. Let, let me put uh, December 2. And it's not a seasonal item, by the way. As you can see the results here too. So, um, it's very powerful. I definitely recommend that you check it out on your own, um, on your own uh, campaigns, on your own PPC, Amazon sponsored display, pro uh, you know, sponsored products, everything. You just try it and test it out. And uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything you want to share with me, uh, let me know down in the comment section. And please like this video, subscribe and share it with uh, anyone that could, uh, you know, benefit from this. I'll see you in the next video.